I believe that we have to be very direct with, with Qatar, although they play a role. The Prime Minister has come out very strongly on it. I know others take a more nuanced position, and the United States government says, look, they're, they're playing a key role in the hostage negotiations or in other issues, which is true. But at the same time, they sponsor Al Jazeera, which is spreading uh, almost Nazi-like images of Israel and, uh, and hostility towards Israel on a daily, daily basis. It's a constant diet that feeds the, the street throughout the Arab world that watch it. Um, they also are responsible for the funding in America of the anti-Israel activities on campus. We've traced already $13 billion that Qatar has poured into American universities. And part of that is that they get to name the faculty, they get the scholarship packages, they uh, have a direct influence, and there's a direct correlation between foreign funding to a university and increased anti-Semitism. It's direct so correlation. Done? As you mentioned, Number one, it's a we have to stop. Number two, they, have to, they should be forced to disclose. None of this was disclosed. None of this information has been made public. The universities don't report it. The American government didn't require them. They should have. And to see what the nefarious influence of, it, it, you know, that it doesn't just extend to colleges. We found it in high schools. In New York City, in a high school, they have a map of Israel, a huge map of the Middle East. No Israel. It says Palestine. And when I spoke to the superintendent, he said, what do you mean? It's been there for 10 years. I said, 10 years you taught this hate? He said, well, it's an Arab culture thing, which the Qatari fund pays for and, and in the high schools in New York City. But we also found things in the kindergartens where they changed the words on the children's song, the wheels of the bus, to the wheels of the tank. And it's against Israel. And it's so pervasive. And then you wonder, why would they come to campus? Would they not have these hateful attitudes towards Israel and be subject to the propaganda and the mobilizations that are going on? But if you ask them, what river and what sea are you talking about? They don't know. When you ask them, could you tell us, what does it mean for Israel if you do that? You're going to obliterate 9 million people? They say, no, no, we don't believe in we don't. They don't even know what they're saying on there. It's total ignorance about it. But they're being taken advantage of. It's a concerted campaign. There are paid activists. We, can, we should be exposing everybody who gave money, domestic or foreign, and there have to be real consequences. And I think what happened now with the lawsuits against universities, the exposure of the presidents of Penn and Harvard and in in, in, uh, MIT at the congressional hearings, there will be many more congressional hearings coming up. There is an awakening to this challenge, but many campuses have become hostile places for Jewish students. And Catholic universities are advertising to Jewish students in ads, we offer you a safe place because they recognize that many of the campuses in America are no longer safe for Jewish students. And you're saying Qatar is behind this. Qatar is a major funder and has been doing it for many years. We, we, they've invested about $300 billion in buying businesses and, and they use that influence in, in, in promoting their agenda which is an anti-Israel agenda as well. But I think it's anti-American and I think America has to recognize that while Israel may be the first victim, America will be the next.